Now I'd like to talk to you about troubleshooting with the 1500S. I would first like to start by going through the errors we have on the machine which have an error code related to it. The first error code I'd like to talk to you about is the F6 code. This means that potentially the brew unit inside is blocked or jammed. So what you'll need to do is remove the brew unit, give it a good clean and pop it back in the machine. When you do this, please turn off the machine and turn it back on again and that should fix the fault. The next error code I'd like to talk to you about is the F2636 code. This means that potentially the grinders are blocked. So what you'd need to do is remove the bean hoppers and make sure that there's no blockages within the grinders. Another error that you may encounter is the F8889 or F188189. This could be down to a boiler heating issue. What we'd recommend you do here is turn the machine off for five minutes and turn it back on again. This should rectify the fault. Another common error that we have is the F161, 162, 163. This could be that the brewer is blocked. Again, we'd recommend you to take the brewer out, give it a clean and put the brewer back. But please make sure that you turn the machine off for a few minutes and then turn it back on again. Error 186 relates to the steam boiler level. What you would need to do if it comes up with that is remove the grouts container, ensure that it's inserted correctly and reset the machine. Finally, our most common error code is error code force cleaning. If the machine has not been cleaned for 27 hours, this code will appear on the machine. You'll need to run a complete clean cycle on the machine. This will rectify that issue. At times you may find that the machine will not come up with an error code, but it may malfunction. One of these cases is if there's no milk dispensing from the dispense head. What we'd ask you to do in that instance is check the milk pipe in the chiller to make sure that there's no kinks in the pipe. If that doesn't rectify the issue, we'd ask you to remove the foamer, the dispense head, and to check that that's been put together properly and there's no blockages in there either. This should rectify the issue. If you find that the hot chocolate is not dispensing correctly, we'd recommend that you lift the screen, like so, check to make sure that the hot chocolate is not leaking from the mixing bowl. If there's hot chocolate leaking or not, please remove the mixing bowl and clean it out thoroughly. Reinsert the mixing bowl and that should rectify the problem. If you find that the machine is randomly dispensing drinks when no one is using the machine, it may be that the front display is dirty. So what we recommend you do is go into the cleaning option, select the clean lock and clean the screen. That should rectify the issue. And finally, if your drinks are overfilling or underfilling, it would be a good idea to check the milk pipe again to make sure there's no kinks in the pipe. Also check the foamer to make sure there's no blockages. Give that a thorough clean. If the error persists, check the temperature of the chiller because it may be that your chiller is too cold. Please note that overfilling and underfilling issues are mainly due to the temperature of the milk. You need to make sure always to refill milk that has the same temperature as the milk already in the fridge. Or if a different temperature, give it time to adjust. This may take a few hours. This concludes our training for today. I hope I've covered everything for you and I hope you have a great experience with your 1500S.